Hi YouTube, I'm back with another video. I um, have a small haul and a quick project share, so this video will be very short. Um, I went to Marshall's the other day in search of Mother's Day items. Well, I won't say Mother's Day items, but things for my Mother's Day luncheon. I host a Mother's Day luncheon every year. I've been doing it for the past five years. And each year, I try to do something bigger and better. So, um, the Mother's Day luncheon, each woman, each woman that attends, and it's six of us. I keep it small. Um, she has to bring five of the gifts for the other ladies that are here. And at the end, towards the end of the luncheon, after everybody eats and all of that, and, you know, just had a, t a moment to socialize, you know, we'll turn on some music and things like that, and then we'll start to unravel all of our gifts from one another. It's a lot of fun. Usually, my gift, because I'm the hostess, usually I give, I like to give a nice, really nice gift and usually it's a gift basket um i make a lot of gift baskets you know for friends and family i sell them i do a lot of different things but this year i kind of wanted it to be something different um a lot of people always compliment me when i give them things on my packaging so i wanted to give something that i could do quite a bit of packaging with so i found these cute tote bags at marshall's and they were only 99 cents. So I thought, how how cool is that to be able to have a great big tote bag? Because not only the things that I give could fit in there, but probably the things that the other ladies bring um, could fit in there. And it could be as one bag just to take everything out. It won't be a lot of little loose bags um, or small um, tote bags or whatever. So we just have one nice bag. But the thing I like most about this bag tote bag here are the colors they also had these wrapping paper to match that was only $2.99 so I was like that is really cool and I know that in my stash somewhere I have um, some cardstock I couldn't think of what I would need to say. Some cardstock to match so that I can handcraft individual cards. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and I will keep you guys posted on what I decide to put inside the bags. Because some of the things that I put inside will be handcrafted. My The people that usually attend, they look forward to that. I'm the only person in the group, in my group of friends, that is heavy on crafting and making and doing so they're going to look forward to what I decide to give them as a, a gift that I have handcrafted myself um, so I'm excited about it and I will keep you guys posted on how I progress along with that okay and if you guys have any suggestions about the Mother's Day luncheon please feel free to share I'm not sure on the theme this year it's like I've done it you know, this is my fifth year, so it's kind of like, well, what do I do next? And part of me really wants to do a tea party, but the tea party is so typical. Everybody kind of like, oh, tea party, okay. You know, because people do tea parties all the time. So I need something that's a little more creative to think of. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. Okay, the next thing I did, um, I wanted to have a project share. I had a project share that I want to show you guys. And... I use the napkins and Mod Podge technique that I had seen. So many of you use on, do on YouTube. And here are my napkins. I got them from Tuesday morning for a dollar and seventy nine cent. And I Mod Podge these on Jiffy Cups. And I got that idea from Crafty Irena. She had Mod Podge some really cute pumpkin napkins back in the fall on some Jiffy Cups and made like little table favors out of them. So I thought that was really cool. So this is what I did. And this is how mine came out. That's one. And here's the other one. I put a napkin inside 
and some treats candy on the inside just to see what it would look like that way and I'm really excited about this I also saw um, Muriel over at Miss Cooper's Coop she had done the Maj Podge um, napkin technique on a lot of different things and they're just absolutely gorgeous so hopefully I can continue to work on this technique and I would love to use it for um, other things other than the Jiffy Cups I'd love to Mod Podge some boxes and um, balsa boxes and things like that so we'll just see how that turns out um, but that was what that was my share and this weekend I hope to get the opportunity to use my punch boards um, my husband had bought me the pillow box punch board, the gift bag punch board, and the envelope punch board uh, probably a couple of months ago. It's been a while. It's been a long time. And I just haven't had the opportunity to actually sit down and use that, those types of things. And I said, you know, it's just sitting here collecting dust. I'm going to use them. So this weekend, I'm going to try my hand at those punch boards. And if any of you have used those punch boards and you have any creative ideas about them, please let me know. But I'm going to try my hand at it this um, this weekend. And maybe if I make something that looks worth sharing, <laughs> I will come back and share it. I am very, you know, excited to be on YouTube. So... I am hoping that I can learn a lot and I can share a lot. So until we meet again, YouTubers, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye.